when it comes to research, we have almost any specialty of research that you can um, delve into, and that helps when it comes to applying into those um, specialties. Um, there are a number of labs within each specialty that you could even go to, and so uh, you really get a, a breadth of experience. Um, we have a breadth of experience here and breadth of specialties, and so should you decide to change your mind like some have previously in the middle of their research, um, there's always another lab you can go to, and there are many faculty with labs who would love to have you join. I know they have a specific seven-year research track that would give me dedicated time to really invest my time into seeing if research is something I really like, is it something I want to do in the future, and it would provide me the tools to network and gain the experience I need to get in order to, to make that decision. And if I do want to do it in the future, I'll be able to, I'll know the right people to make that happen. Being exposed to academic surgery, you start realizing that some people, you know, have driven their career to be able to become academic surgeons, whether that's in basic science or clinical research. And I found a mentor at Texas Children's that was willing to mentor me throughout my two years to see if basic science research was something that could be part of my career long term. Um, and he had experience with previous residents being able to mentor them and give them the opportunities to have that type of career. And so I was interested in someone that was willing to invest with me and then also have the environment that was going to be able to give me that opportunity in case I ever wanted to do that.